Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the lab for create a virtual machine. Uh, this lab is available on the GitHub from Microsoft Learning and I'm going to give you the link in the video. So for this lab, we have a simple task to create the virtual machine. We're going to sign in to our Azure portal and we'll open up the virtual machine uh, resource and then we're going to add it and we're going to configure the way uh, we have the direction in here and go from there so let's start working on it so let's go to Azure portal and uh, look for the virtual machine so let's get there look you just search for it and it should show up so you click on it and it looks like I do not have any virtual machine right in my environment just click on add and this should give you uh, what you need to do so we're going to create a new resource group at as part of the deployment and uh, I'm using the resource group oh. what happened resource create new okay and I'm just going to use the subscription by default that I have access to and uh, it may be different for you uh, virtual machine name is my VM so let's copy that one uh, East US is my favorite so I'm going to keep that one and the lab also wants you to deploy on the East US images Windows Server 2019 data center so let's see what we have automatically selected it's selected uh, Ubuntu so let's change that gate the 2009 data center and uh, we want the size to be d2sv3 so let's see uh, d2sv3 is already selected look at that that it's got two virtual cpus and eight gigs of memory it's going to cost me 137 dollars about per month if i run it all the time uh, administrator user let's copy that one uh, and put it over here and the password that we're using is this let's copy that one as well and um, inbound port rules allow 3389 and 880 so confirm password let's do that and then inbound port select inbound port through 3389 is there and we also want to allow port 80 so select both of them uh, switch to the management tab and its monitoring section we're gonna turn off the boot diagnostics so from here I think we're all good click next uh, we are gonna select everything as default networking we're gonna select everything as default go to the management from here we're gonna turn off the boot diagnostics uh, what does it do? Capture serial console output of screenshots of the virtual machines running on the host to help diagnose startup issues. Okay, we don't need that, so we're going to disable that one. And leave the remaining defaults and then click review plus create. So, all that's all we needed. So, I don't have to go to any other tab. So, we'll just uh, start our review process. And once that's done, we're going to create on. Uh, the create button and it should give me the virtual machine and as soon as this is done we're going to connect to the virtual machine and make sure everything is working so uh, I just clicked on the button for create and it has started the deployment and I'm just going to wait for a few minutes and this deployment should be done so it's kind of you can see what's going on it's deployed the NSG, the virtual net, the IP uh, at the very end it's going to create the virtual machine uh, for you all right my friends the deployment is now done you can see that it says the deployment is complete you can also click over here and you can use either this button or that button to go to your deployment go to the resource so let's click on it so it's now is showing the information about this particular virtual machine this is the overview tab uh, where you are right now uh, this is the public IP address that you uh, can get to and just to see uh, if I try to get to that one see anything is running on that public IP right now it's taking a little bit of time 
so uh, while this is happening let's look at some other stuff uh, it's giving you uh, the details about this operating system right in here agent status not ready VM generation v1 uh, availabilities for scaling we have not uh, designed that it's telling us that we have one operating system level disk we have no data disk associated with this particular virtual machine uh, size is giving CPU and and the and the RAM we already know those uh, and let's see go to networking real quick where is my networking networking I want to see if there's a network security group it should be this new security group and it looks like we're allowing connection via port 80 and port 3389 it looks like there's nothing running on port 80 otherwise I would have seen something so there is no application server or web server running on that port right now so that's fine so let's go back to the lab uh, so our deployment is now done so uh, we can start the next task where we can uh, attack we can connect to the virtual machine okay now I have a Linux box so I'm gonna follow a little bit different so for you if you're using a, a, a Windows machine you can just click on connect and download this RDP file and just double click on it and it will let you connect properly for me again I'm using a uh, Linux box I'm just gonna copy this IP address and I'm gonna try to connect to this IP over RDP and it says yes uh, username so let's get that information one more time so information that we have used username is as your user so copy that and uh, uh, where am I here as your user and uh, we want the password is this so put the password in here and you say ok and that should allow you to connect to the virtual machine because we have already opened the port 3389 that is for RDP connection okay so we are successfully able to connect so this instruction is a little bit different for Windows but it's very very simple and uh, you can do it pretty easily so I'm just gonna skip this so uh, the idea for this uh, task was to connect to that uh, virtual machine and here within the virtual machine as part of task 3 we're gonna install the web server and that's uh, pretty simple so here uh, we all we're gonna do actually click over here in the search box and we're gonna search for the power cell okay so just uh, search for parser it's a little slow for me right now so let's just see what happens come on I clicked up click that clicked over here one more time still not doing anything let's maximize this one let's bring that one down click this yeah now we have it so I'm just a tried PowerShell I haven't even tried the whole thing and so this is your parcel that I want and the way you install is also pretty simple for the installation of your uh, uh, Windows feature so it's pretty much all Windows feature you will use this particular command so it's install dash Windows feature and we are gonna install the name web server and we want the install management tool so let's run this command real quick so no, where is our machine our machine is running over here so I'm gonna go edit and then paste and this should start installation of the web server uh, extension or module whatever you want to say within this virtual machine and it will spin up uh, one of the IIS servers and we will be able to see and serve uh, web pages so let's go back and see what's going on uh, so it's saying when it's done you will see a success so that we should be looking at in our uh, output that that we are running right now and uh, once that's done if we go and go to that public IP now we should be able to get access to this page 
and that is going to be the end of our lab uh, where we have deployed a virtual machine and then uh, we have configured the ports at the time of deployments then from the virtual machine we have installed a web server IIS and then we are able to connect to this web server once it's available right now look see now it's available so that's the end of the lab let's look over here if anything else is going on uh, so it's although it's 90% your website yeah now you see it's all success that's all we wanted to see so that's the end of the video uh, if you like this please give me a like uh, subscribe if you're studying for the AZ 900 exam uh, very good luck that's a very good certification to start your journey with Azure I wish you all the best thank you